We're just, uh, just passing Chris Higgins, uh, the famous pound burger Caesar, certainly uh, closed up for the season. He's actually in Benidorm, I believe. So I hope he's having a, a very good time. But the, uh, the uh, little bingo next door, that is still open. And you can even hear them uh, shouting the numbers out. And welcome back to our brand new video. So we haven't done the lights for a little while um, with the, uh, along the promenade, especially at night time. So I thought we'd have a, a bit of a walk around uh, a few streets and uh, hit the promenade, see the, uh, the wonderful lights for a change. Like I said, we haven't done it for uh, quite a while. And uh, so we're gonna start the, uh, the video off, you know, the Stanley Show Bar. And look how uh, wonderfully lit up that one is you see the uh, the blues and like the, the purples certainly uh, certainly something <laughs> and uh, another great little great little arcade like I said, just near uh, the, uh, the famous Chris Higgins pound burger. And you can see they're uh, shouting those numbers out. Wine, seven and one, 71. Yeah, and uh, just a few feet away is the uh, Foxhall Market. You can see that one's uh, closed up. But if you have a look around these streets, it's very, very quiet. And uh, like I said, it's not, it's not exactly very late, to be fair. It's only about sort of six o'clock. And so, it's, you know, it's very... Uh, like I said, it's not... a. Uh, it's not late at all, and you can see uh, how dark the uh, the streets are at night time, and it's quite eerie to be fair. What's this one? So it's a uh, it's quite amazing when you um when you come out and everything's lit up because what's this? The Ardwick beer here. There you go. So the guy yeah, apparently that's one of the uh, the cheapest places um, to to grab yourself a drink, which is the uh, the Ardwick. Like I say, you can just see some of these. Uh, some of these streets, you know, it's uh, very, very quiet at this time, especially, you know, like I said, it's not late, you know, it's, uh, it's early, a very, very early evening. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, all you can see in the distance is uh, yeah, the smoke coming from the, uh, the old chimneys. You see the, uh, the lifeboat now, all the scaffolding has come down on that one. And that is fully opened, which is uh, which is fantastic. And like I said, that was uh, a bit of a touch and touch and go at one stage, but you can see that's uh, now fully opened. We got the uh, little uh, Zane pizza, kebab, fish and chips. That's opened. So let's just have a, a bit of a look further down because we've got the uh, the Tommy Cuttles bar. And uh, like I said, we did a bit of a preview on this one several months ago before it was opened. So let's have a, a quick look, see if it's uh, how busy this one is. We're not going to go inside, but we'll certainly have a look from the uh, the outside. And it's uh, they're certainly decorated for Christmas. And they've got an upstairs, got all sorts of floors on that one. You can see the uh, lovely little terrace as well. You can see outside, and the uh, the views are amazing from upstairs. So you can see it's quite quiet tonight, might pick up a bit later on, but you see how lovely they've uh, trimmed up. Look at that. that certainly something. That's the uh, the Phillies sports bar just next door. Look how fantastic they are. So there's one either side, but look how lovely and sort of sparkly those ones look. And that's just near the uh, Markellis. I don't think I've seen those lit up. It's, a, it's really nice colour. It's all sort of change colour as well. Fantastic they are. Shows how much attention I pay. There's actually many of them. Uh, but I think there's like the uh, little mini ones, shall I say. There's like mini ones. Um, those like sort of, I don't know how to describe them. That's sort all of like little chandeliers, shall I say. And uh, they're certainly, uh, it's amazing you know, how Blackpool sort of comes to life at night time with the, uh, the fantastic lights and everything. It's something, you know, it's all quite, quite remarkable. So what I'm gonna do, in a, Head on, we're going to go past Central Pier, head up towards North Pier, and have a look at the uh, the amazing lights. So as we were uh, as we're walking towards Central, you see all these uh, all these shops. You see they were all closed down.
for uh, for this season. The majority will be open. You know, it's all that weekends. You can see there's, a, there's an awful lot closed up. And what a what a lovely view that is. You can see the uh, the Odyssey. You can see the Sky Flyer, and you can see the uh, the tower lit up in the distance. And uh, it's just like I say, it's, uh, it sort of comes alive, Blackpool at night time with the uh, the wonderful lights and the uh, the vibrant atmosphere it certainly changes the uh, the landscape you know it's, the temperatures are it's at one degree at the moment and as we uh, venture further towards the um the christmas market you see many people still venture out in these uh, very cold conditions but how lovely does that look See the uh, the spindles with the uh, the wonderful wonderful lights. And it's quite quiet to be fair. Um, there's not many people really walking through them, but you know it is. Like I said, it's only about six o'clock, and you know in a, a couple of hours or so, you know all these I'm sure will be a, a great feature for people. As I said many times, walking through. And uh, grabbing, grabbing them pictures. Just a, a little shot of the uh, the tower as we move towards the uh, the Christmas markets. And uh, what a what a wonderful colour the uh, the like the reds and the greens. Certainly a, a good combination. And so we just arrived at the uh, the Christmas market. And you can see there's uh, quite a lot of people, you know, uh, queuing up, grabbing the drinks, grabbing the, uh, the foods. And let's pan the camera around to the, uh, the right. What we'll do, hopefully this Sky Flyer or Sky Dance should be taking off. And we'll see if we can get a, a bit of a glimpse of that when it's uh, certainly going in the, uh, the air. This is the, uh, the ski slope. It's a dry one, but you see the, they take the, uh, like the rubber bands, whatever they call them, and uh, they go right to the top and have a, a bit of a slide down. And uh, yeah, so we're just near the, uh, the comedy carpet now. You can see the, uh, the wonderful lights, the cup and sauces, we got it all. Yeah, like I say, it's quite quiet, but I imagine everyone's just uh, grabbing their dinner, and I'm sure they'll be out later on to enjoy this uh, wonderful atmosphere. You see, that's the uh, the Elter Skelter, all lit up, and everything looks so different in the dark compared to uh, the daytime. And uh, it's just uh, just an array of magical lights. And let's just have a, a quick look at the uh, the tower. Let's move the camera around, and you can see the uh, the tower lit up there in that wonderful, like I said, green and red. That's the uh, the ice skating ring, which is the only uh, one which is uh, completely and complimentary free. Certainly worth a uh, go on. Like I said, even if you don't go any other rides, you know, grab your uh, grab your shoes and grab onto the ice ring. Completely free that one. Like I said, they've got many, many, many attractions, and you're not going to tell me, you know, it doesn't look fantastic, all lit up. The uh, the Christmas market. So we're going to have a, like I said, a bit of a. A walk near the uh, the beach house, and then we'll uh, we sort of snake our way back um, towards the uh, past the central pier, possibly through uh, the town centre or a few streets. But yeah, certainly uh, certainly something. Um, Blackpool Christmas Market in the uh, at night time. So we'll just hang on. We'll have a walk back towards the uh, Sky Flyer and see if we can see that one uh, go up in the air. Yeah, certainly a, a colourful one. And uh, like I said, you know, even about sort of six o'clock, it's still, uh, you know, still a few people, it attracts a few people, which is great.
So it looks like the uh, the sky flyer, the sky dance, is now off. And uh, I don't envy those. That's all I'm going to say because that is some height. And you can see now it's going up. It's starting to spin, and it looks. It doesn't look that high from the ground, but I'd imagine if you're up in the air, I certainly am very high. And uh, there he goes. Actually, it doesn't look that high, you know, when you're, you're standing downstairs or down on the ground, but wow. How magical does that one look? I mean, from, from this angle, it looks like, you know, it's and that's the, uh, the sky flyer. Blackpool Tower. Uh, Blackpool you know, Christmas really Market. Wow. wow. Uh, it's, it's quite a lot of feet difference, but you know, from this angle, he certainly looks uh, as high as the tower. You can see it's on its way down now. You know, how many of those people are glad that it's coming down? I mean, from, from this angle, it looks like, you know, it's all tall as Blackpool Tower. You know, it's probably only a, well, well it's, it's quite a lot of fee difference, but you know, from this angle, he certainly looks uh, as high as the tower. You can see it's on its way down now. You know, how many of those people are glad that it's coming down? I hope you enjoyed that. A bit of a bit of an evening. Um, a walk about with the uh, the illuminations and the uh, Christmas market so you know I've done it many a times but not really at night time it certainly comes alive you know with all the vibrant colors and uh, just the atmosphere so until next time take care if you haven't already subscribed consider hitting that subscribe button uh, hit the like button any comments I will try to get back to you as soon as I can and until next time take care and it is a bye from me bye bye